Rachel, thank you for that update. And right now, Starbucks baristas at two Madison locations are on strike. Workers and advocates have picketed outside of several others. The two locations on strike are the State Street and Capitol Square locations. JT Siskowski is live outside of the State Street store where workers spent most of the day demonstrating. JT? Yep. Yeah, that's right, Amber. The, uh, the the store behind me, the State Street location, is closed as well as the one on the Capitol Square because the workers are out on strike. These demonstrations today ended a couple of hours ago, but the workers are still out demonstrating, distributing flyers and picketing outside a few other area locations. And the workers have demo have uh, demonst uh, have demonstrated in the past, but today is an escalation. On your screen right now is a list of all of the Starbucks locations in Madison where activists are distributing leaflets about the union fight. In addition to these, the workers picketed the State Street, Capitol Square, and University Avenue locations. The Capitol Square and State Street stores have been closed all day. This is the first multi-day strike the workers have mounted in Madison. It's been marked with plenty of chants, signs, and frustration at the company for a perceived lack of will to meet at the negotiating table. And like, I feel like it's just their goal to like pull on this as long as possible and make us all like lose hope and be like, ah, oh, the union's not getting anywhere because the union is bad. And that is just not the case. That's not what's going on. Since unionizing over a year ago, workers at the Capitol Square store have met with the company just once to reach a deal. And the workers here at the State Street location have yet to meet with the company at all since unionizing in June. The company told 27 News in a statement that the union is to blame for the failing to agree to times to meet. However, the workers tell me that they are ready and willing to negotiate. I asked the workers about what comes next if the company still doesn't meet with them, if they're still not able to meet at the table. They told me that these uh, escalations will continue. Live in Madison, JT Siskowski, 27 News.